Hey guys, this is Fire from In Depth Gaming bringing you a game review. This time we're checking out Ben 10 Power Trip. This game was released on October 9th, 2020, developed by PHL Collective and published by Outright Games Limited, and is available for a price of $39.99. So, what is Ben 10 Power Trip? If you're familiar with the Cartoon Network show Ben 10, it is a game that's basically set in that universe. So, you progress through the game. Um, Ben and his family basically went on a European vacation, and now they're trying to fight off Hex and all the evil villains that have now kind of been into the world. So you use Ben 10 and all his aliens to, you know, kind of help fight and defeat all the enemies in the game, progress through the levels, and try to knock out the challenges. Um, the game is actually a fairly simple game. There's no real complex controls. You use, you know, your D-pad to switch between the different aliens that Ben 10 can become. Um, you navigate around with your analog sticks and the buttons are actually really simple. Um, it's quite an easy pick up and go game. Um, I would hope so considering I would expect this game to be marketed more toward younger children um, or fans of the Ben 10 universe. Um, as you can see right now, we're kind of progressing really far. I don't want to spoil too much of this game, so that's why we're just showing you a little bit of the you know, gameplay as we're progressing between missions, um, you know, because we really want to kind of help embrace and hold on to that, you know, core story to the game. We don't want to ruin too much for you. Um, I will let you know that, you know, the boss fights and interactions are actually really fun. The puzzles in minigames are quite interesting, and Somebody you get an expanse me. across a rather giant map while, as you progress, yeah. you encounter a ton of different, like, world events, yeah. so to speak, you know, people that need help. Um, saving, things like that, um, which is kind of nice, it changes it up, um, so you don't feel like you're doing just the same thing over and over. Um, so it's not just, you know, walk to one point, walk back, you know, it's, it's kind of repetitive, but not necessarily, and it's kind of fun to just do different things throughout the game instead of just going from point A to point B, which is kind of what it feels like at times, but those little random encounters help change up the pace a little bit. Um, as far as visuals, the game, you know, it fits the Ben 10 cartoon universe. It looks how it should, you know, it portrays that in a very well manner. Um, and it just, it works. It does what it needs to do. Um, you know, the cutscenes are nice. It shows you different areas and villages. The, you know, AI that you interact with in the game is really fun and, you know, quite engaging. There's some comical cartooniness in there, which, you know, really fits and keeps to the narrative of what the show is and offers. Um, there is a really nice soundtrack to the game that fits the universe. We do have the audio kind of turned down just because, you know, YouTube issues, we don't really want to get a strike. I don't think anybody will blame us because we get too many of those, you guys won't see reviews and videos from us, so we kind of be cautious when we can. But yeah, as far as achievements in this game, there's nothing that's going to be overly too difficult. You just kind of got to play the game. Um, you know, unlock everything, kind of do the things. It's not going to be an easy completion. It's not going to be a quick completion. It's just going to be one of those, you've got to play the game and work at it. Um, as for overall in the game, it's it's pretty fun for what it is. I'm not a person who's really into these kind of games, um, but it's been kind of a nice, you know, step into. I will be revisiting this game multiple times to play more and more, um, you know, over the coming weeks. Um, you know, I'll eventually complete it myself, you know, it, it's worth doing that. Um, as far as the price point and what we really think about the game, and my honest opinions, I love the artwork, I love the animation, I love just how immersed you get in the story for the game, it's done really well. There's one giant drawback to this game though, the price, it's $39.99. I feel like, you know, we've done many reviews on the channel and you know, I always factor price into a game because, you know, frankly, the entry point and path into a game should be a massive impact to the game. You know, if I'm going to get my value and money for a game, I want to know what I'm paying and what I'm getting. $39.99 seems really steep. I think this game should have came in somewhere around, you know, $24.99, $19.99. That would have been a really good solid price point to entry level, especially for the demographic this game is kind of marketing and the economy and time we're in with the pandemic. You know, this is a game for kids. Most kids aren't going to have, you know... 40 bucks to just spend and, you know, leisurely go about with. 
Um, whereas, you know, they might have 20 bucks. Or it might be more easy for a parent to kind of negotiate there. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to give the game focusing a review, you know, with all that in mind. I would give this game a 6 out of 10. If the game was priced in a much better manner, I would give it, you know, a little higher score for what it is. Um, it's done right. It's just a really hard entry level to the game um, with that price point. But yeah, if you guys want to see any more um, content about the game, want to see us, you know, upload some more gameplay or just have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. If you haven't already, um, subscribe to the channel. It really helps support us, allows us to bring more gameplay videos and reviews and content to you guys. Um, fun fact, if you didn't know, there's about 95% of you that aren't subscribed to the channel. Uh, it just takes one button, you'll get notified every time we uh, upload videos, and you know, you'll help us bring more content to you guys. But aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you guys next time. How does it look? I'll go out on a limb and say the town looks great.